Hello, Auntie Edwardian Girl here. I've completed my Pride and Prejudice and Zombies costume. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So I hope this tutorial has helped giving you some ideas or maybe inspired you to make your own with any ideas that you might have. I do thoroughly encourage the free thought and sharing of ideas. So if you have any tips or tricks or anything that might have worked for you, feel free to share it. For my bodice here, I used the gathers because personally I prefer the way the gathers look than the pleats, but that's pretty much a personal choice. Don't know if you can how well I'll show up on this old camera, but I've lined the top in a nude colored muslin. Because muslin and cotton fabric in general, it breathes easier, it looks better, and also with nude fabrics, the colors won't r rub off on your skin. Because even if you wash your fabric, sometimes the dyes and the fabric can still rub off on your skin. Around here I put a uh, velvet ribbon. This isn't required in any Regency dresses, but some do and I just like the look. It's a, in, in real life, it shows up as a bit more red, so I might replace this with more of a lavender color next time. So I hope everyone's enjoyed this view of it, and after this I will have some pictures of me in the costume. And here we are with the back. I've used some white buttons. They're very simple, just very slight sheen to them on a floral design. They work really well. They go well with the print here. I've also used the velvet ribbon. It ties in the back. I've seen all different kinds of waist ties, so whatever you decide to go with works well. I decided to go with the long ties because I just really like them. I'm also planning some other costumes for Halloween and other things, so I will probably have more tutorials coming up, so please keep your eyes peeled. And thanks for watching this tutorial, and I will see you next time.